was profoundly offensive. <laughs> Question number seven, Paul Fosterbell. Merry Christmas, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Sir... <laughs> Sir, my question is to the Associate Minister of Health and asks, what recent announcements has he received regarding newly listed medicines? Honourable Todd Maclay. A Merry Christmas to you also. In line with government policy for better, sooner, more convenient health care, Pharmac has renegotiated an agreement to reduce costs for a number of medicines important to New Zealanders. This will mean a saving of more than $20 million over five years, as well as uh, the listing of new medicines for rare blood disorders, influenza, and improved access to asthma inhalers. The savings made will free up resources, Mr Speaker, that Pharmac and DHBs can use to purchase more health care services, a win-win for patients. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Paul Fosterbell. Supplementary to the Associate Minister, what benefits will be generated through this agreement? Honourable Todd Maclay. Mr Speaker, more New Zealanders will benefit from better health care outcomes that access to these newly uh, listed medicines bring. Increased access to asthma treatment will benefit thousands, including around 1,200 children who will not only need uh, one inhaler instead of two previously uh, to uh, receive their treatment. We know, Mr Speaker, that asthma is a significant cause of poor health, particularly for children in New Zealand. The New Zealand Health Survey data showed that 14% of children aged 2 to 14 take medications for asthma. This announcement builds on recent decisions that will improve children's respiratory health, including whooping cough vaccines, influenza vaccines for under fives with respiratory illnesses. Question number eight, Julianne Gento. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister.